Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. The Booty Angels. Hello, welcome. Anybody, somebody, nobody, whoever you never see. This is Free Dogs Under Faust, the Whiff. Come back at you with some more Warhammer 40k. It could be Blood Angels. The war gear changes. You can run some more Blood Angels and do some silly nonsense. With that said, let's get started. I have three 10 man squads of Sanguinary Guard, and there's no reason not to, so yes, they have Inferno Pistols. Inferno Pistols and uh, Excrement Sword. Excrement Sword. Um, and Caraman, whatever you call it. Uh, one Death Company Marines with Thunder Hammers. Now, you could finagle this to get another one, but I don't recommend it because infiltrators are so good right now. With the point decrease and troops for custo uh, custodians, uh, Space Marines getting sticky, and they have a 12 inch denial with the changes made to uh, free strategic reserves. This helps deny your opponent so badly for all their 12-inch shooting, 12-inch uh, charging, and deep striking. And you just, between round one and round two, if you go first, this is so nice to have infiltrators if you go first. Because then you'll control if probably one to two objectives and you can push up the board and you just have so much control and you're not going to really get charged or it's extremely unlikely depending on your placement. Um, one thing is servitors also just to um, help hopefully build a wall or you know prevent some charging or even hold an objective randomly or just be a nuisance for 30 points it's not bad not bad at all sanguinary ancient astarath commander dante and lord mephiston as well uh the sanguinary ancient i believe i did give him the wrath of ball uh relic i believe that's a relic and uh yes um, which gives plus two movement for a normal move and advance and fall back for jetpacks. And guess what? Everyone here except for Mephiston and the Servitors have jetpacks. Oh, and the Infiltrators. Uh, fun meme. If you don't want to run Mephiston, but you still want a Psyker, run the Librarian's Dreadnought. Because you can give him Wings of Sanguinius, and which gives your Dreadnought 12 inches move and fly as an extra thing. So you just charge a flying Dreadnought. It just grows angel wings and flies at the enemy. A flying Dreadnought. Shit is not the best thing in the game, but damn, it's intimidating. <laughs> it's mad drip. It just tears people up. Big meme. Very funny. Uh, with that said, Blood Angels is one of the few armies that is almost Hero Hammer, where you can run a lot of characters that are very strong. I also c was considering running the um, Chapter Champion, but I eventually took him out, because I think it's more viable, tactically, to have two Infiltrators um, than one Infiltrator and some other stuff to have that guy. Uh, you could change your list if you want to run it a different way. I just think this is very good. This is the way I built it. Uh, if you haven't checked out my channel before, you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps grow my channel. I'm trying to do these quicker five-minute videos. I don't have the note cards here because I just want to explain it. And if you want to build the list, you can just rewatch the video. Again, in my comments down below, I or the description, I have a Google Drive list with all my Battlescribe lists. So you can just copy and play it as you will. Eventually, I'll be uploading a mod so everyone can go on T uh, TTS to play these armies. I'm going to have them all pre yellow scribe, so they're just... Uh, plug and play. You just grab them and start playing. And they're all legal with Arcs of Omen with 2023 update. Uh, yeah, this army is very spooky. Uh, because of all their bonuses, I feel like they really do outshine. And it's mostly these fuckers. These fuckers. A little bit of these guys, but it's mostly these dudes. Because you have cha Dante, you can do Chapter Master, give these dudes full reroll. So even though the hammers are going to give them minus... Oh, well... They decide to be dumb. Oh, it's because I'm not on the main thing. Well, we'll give them minus one, so they're going to hit on force. But uh, you get full rerolls of hit. So it'll help compensate. Um, and you also get other bonuses. Plus one to hit. So from fours back down to threes. Reroll. And then, uh, yeah, very nice. Plus one to hit. Plus one to wound. All kinds of other nonsense. Uh, Sanguinary Guard are just really strong. Uh, if they, if you lose, if the, they get nerfed, then Blood Angels as a whole will fall down. Compared to, like, White Scars and other melee factions, Space Wolves, they just have a bit too much going for them. And it's mostly just the Sanguinary Guard that are the crux. Um, so yeah, it's a very melee-heavy army. It's very go-fast. It's pretty fun. Um, if you like my content, again, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm gonna try to keep this quick, so game on, gamers. Take care.